Ashish as CTO. We keep the format very loose. Uh, Abhi and Ashish will talk for a couple of minutes on the program. Tech GM as well as Tech Panorama. They'll they'll give you a brief description of of the of what the objective is, what the process is, and after that, let's keep it inter interactive. We'll take your questions. So Tech GM is an event that we do where we uh, call nominations from uh, students across institutions in India. The other panel event we ran was Reverend Tech Panorama, which is for all employees. Uh, the specific process, how we run the whole thing, let me have Ashish explain that to you with the numbers, because he is the architect behind the whole thing, Ashish, Chief Technology Officer, and very passionate about technology and how we run this. So specific number. Uh, largely, the idea is to ensure that the focus of the company in creating value through innovation encourage a culture of innovation, uh, encourage a culture of applying thought, thinking, uh, gets permeated down to various levels, is a challenge that we want to undertake year on year. It helps in uh, ushering in a culture of uh, technology, a culture of uh, building differentiation, and also helps figure out what are the technologies where we need to elevate ourselves when it comes to application of these technologies to the customers that we service. So keeping this in mind, the process has been designed in a manner that it addresses the real requirements that our customers have. It, it involves various stakeholders in the organization so that they learn through the process. It also keeps in mind that it, it gives us more than enough opportunities to experiment with technologies and at the end of it, it also gives us an opportunity to create artifacts which will be a demonstrator of our intent to keep ourselves invested in technology. So, we start with uh, uh, enabling our engineers through different ranks to contribute with what we call, or everybody calls blue sky something. So allowing them to think on a canvas which is or on a canvas which is very broad. So we don't we don't apply any great filters in terms of the ideas they think about. That's revenues. I have an idea, I think this is what technology can do. This is the field I work in. Why don't we look at how can we make use of this technology as we do business with our customers? So that's revenues. There is another program, which is Tech Expression, where we do face daily challenges in different type of projects, different type of use cases, where customers throw problems at us. That's Tech Expression, where customers pose problems or we believe that these are roadblocks, and uh, uh, people come up, we 
we encourage people, engineers, as I said, across the levels, uh, and say, look, I think this is a problem, and it can be solved in this particular manner, or I think the pro way we are solving the problem is not good enough. Can this be an alternate mechanism? So that's the second part. Uh, that's the second platform that we have. The third platform that we have is applicability of new technologies to actual domains that we serve or actual industries that we serve. And that's a process of hackathon. And this time the theme was AI hackathon. So we run this through the year, uh, time it with, uh, uh, give it enough appropriate time window, five weeks or six weeks. And sometimes, sometimes you have to bring demonstrators. It could be eight weeks or 12 weeks, and so on and so forth. So we start with revenues six to eight weeks and we kick off in the month of May, um, in the month of June, followed with tech expression, which takes about four to five months, and then a uh, hackathon, uh, which will take another four to five months, and then it culminates in showcasing these exhibits to everybody, including our customers, uh, as you are seeing today. But the other angle to this entire process is, how do we differentiate and identify people across levels? So we look at ideas coming from different maturity levels or different experience levels of people as well. So the programs are designed to cater to freshers, to middle management, to senior folks, and even to a leadership across these domains. So technically speaking, a person or an engineer who has a vague idea or a wild idea in their ways can end up taking that idea is converting into a full-fledged solution, which is tech expression, and can even improvise it by applying new age technologies like AI hardware and end up demonstrating something that we can go to the customer. So that is the process and the timeline that we follow. Two caveats. One is that whatever we do out to be validated by customers at a certain point in time, where we have to reach out to customers and request customers for mentorship. Number two, you have to bring in the perspective of a business use case and return on investment. We run internally in the company, uh, but there's another program that's running in parallel is TechGM. Now, TechGM is a program where we call uh, students from universities across India. And uh, so this time we had 503 institutes across India, including some IITs and IITs also which participate. And more than 37,000 students were part participated in this program. Now here we give them problem statements that come to us from customers. I can we reach out to customers and are there problem statements that you'd like to throw to students out there? And of course our business leaders as well. So we cul culminate all these problem statements around some key things. So this year the themes we took were AI, ESEB, sustainability, medtech, digital manufacturing, these kind of things. And we curated these problem statements and we send it to these institutes who then work with the uh, students. And we keep, I mean, it was a, it's a very long process. Again, Ashish team runs that very long process, culminates into the finalists who you see here, about, I think 30 finalists a year, who showcase what they have created. Now they have to create stuff. It's not just theory. This is stuff that they have to create. Of course, they use whatever props, whatever uh, the university provides. We also support them as well. In that case, the mentors typically are the faculty. Because you ask the mentor you know, thing, the faculty members in these institutes are the uh, ones who uh, work with the students. And in fact, most of the faculty members or the mentors also have been invited in the, as a final team. Talk to each one of these 30 finalists after this gets over and help them find patterns. There is no other uh, tribute to the effort of an engineer, uh, better tribute to an engineer than helping him find pattern for his idea. So there are many, many students who we help go through the process of even discovering. The students don't know, so we help them discover, number one. Number two, we take some of these ideas and we do go to our customers and tell the customers, look, these are the solutions that have come up. Now you have two choices. A, would you want to use this solution? In which case you may want to do some changes. Sometimes the customers have come back and said, yes, we like it. Can I even recruit those? Can I make contact with that college? Can I recruit that student? That's an option available. Third and most important, Abhi just approved an hour back uh, to 
provide internship, financial support, and even uh, offers to a very large number of students here so that whatever work that they are doing can get carried on and can get productized or can get uh, uh, or, or where we can help them mature those solutions. So our journey does not end with this. So it continues in these three domains as we go. Yeah, I think all the students here are either third year students or fourth year students. And we know that, especially this year, the colleges are not uh, getting as good uh, numbers and recruitment as they have got in the past. In fact, many of the companies are not even going to colleges. Uh, we have gone, we have already given more numbers and offers. And say, I'm better than last year in terms of my technology question. So we have our Global Engineering Academy, which runs this program and constantly trains engineers across the company, including engineers who are on site, not in India, to, they can pick the technology area. They can, either the project can say, this is the area you should work on, or they can pick their own area of interest. That's why three thought, I mean, we had a target that the board had given us, maybe we should look at 1,500 to 2,000 people who get trained on JNI. We trained 3,000 six months, because engineers said, I want to. Because they want to. So we are not making as much effort because the engineers want to get trained. That is a modern workforce today. They are not waiting. They are coming forward and saying, we want to learn. And companies which can create that platform for them, where learning is a part of the culture of the organization, I think other companies are succeeding. And that is something we feel so proud about through Global Engineering Academy or our uh, OND, uh, even leadership trainings that we have given, one of the best leadership programs, I think, in the industry. Uh, which marriage with the LNT leadership program. I think that is what uh, I think the, the current talent needs. And the more you can feed into that hunger of theirs of learning, they will feel wanted, they will feel important, and they will like to work with us.